How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you two ways you can make TikTok inspired text that looks like this. So let's get started. You can see I've actually already made it here and uh, I kind of didn't mess up my tutorial so that was 30 minutes wasted but I need to make it as clear as possible for you. So let's begin by making our text. So first of all of course select the type tool or click T on your keyboard. Now click anywhere on the screen and put in your text. So I'm just going to put your text ignore how it looks at the moment yours should look something like a default font maybe like Arial, color white yeah something like that so at the moment we're not going to mess with anything except we are because i made this mistake in the last recording i did not change the font so first of all select Arial bold this is the most suitable font i'd say for this kind of style next we're going to recenter it but before that what you need to do is align it so if you just click this icon here, remember this is in the effect controls panel and all it's going to do is just move it to the middle like that. And now we need to actually center it properly. So if it helps, you can zoom in by clicking on this and selecting something higher like 400. I think that's a bit too much. So let's go maybe 150. Hold control on your keyboard and click and drag this little crosshair until it locks into the middle like that. Perfect. I'm going to let go. Then I'm going to scroll down on my left. So effect controls once again. And I'm going to reset the position by clicking on this reset parameter button like so. Then I'm just going to zoom out so we can see everything else. And the first thing I'm going to do is turn down the scale. Remember, this is underneath the text directly, not the vector motion and not the video, the text itself. So I'm going to pick 50. I think that looks good for my video. You might want to go lower. So for example, 40 or even lower like 25 50 looks good enough for me now what do we do next we can either make the fade so we can make it fade in or we can make the zoom uh, transition thing oh and by the way i don't know if i mentioned this but do extend your text layer depending on how long you want it of course so uh in this case i'm not going to be using the uh the dialogue as a reference i'm just going to be using your text so you might want to obviously use what the character is saying and just extend it until the very end so my character soldier boy he stopped speaking just here so i'm just going to cut off the text layer just there perfect okay let's work on the scale so keyframe the scale so mine's 50 and head all the way to the end one frame back so until we can see it so not the, not literally to the end but one frame back so now it's visible and turn it up to something like i'm gonna go 60 i think that looks good enough this does depend on the duration of your clip well mostly the duration of your text layer because in some cases it may look too quick in some cases it may look too slow if it's too fast then just simply turn it down so for example 55 instead and now it's much slower if it's too slow then just turn it up so i could do something like 70 for example and now it's much quicker but i don't like that so 60 it is and if you want to you can push it back as well the second keyframe now let's make the fade so click on this little icon here which creates a ellipse mask so you should get this thing around it we're going to actually change it so if we just grab these little points around the edges and make it into a circle something like that and just push it to the left in fact we also need to turn up the mask feather so again effect controls uh, if I just increase, whoops, if I just increase it to, let's go maybe 50. I'm just giving you an example here. So when we do fade in, it's going to look like this. So the lower the amount the mask feather is, the more harsh it looks. And the higher it is, the smoother it looks. So like that. And that's on, what was it, 115. But this is 50. You know what, let's go 100. Why not? And I'm just going to push this back a bit more until it's not visible. Before we set a keyframe for the mask path, make sure you're at the beginning of your text layer. If you are, then great. Click on toggle animation. Head to the center. So it doesn't have to be like completely specific. Just anywhere in the middle of your text layer. And as you can see, I can't see it. So if you can't see uh, the mask, then you can just click away and then click back and it should appear. If it still doesn't appear, then just click away like that. Then select it one more time and it should appear. But yeah, once you're at the middle, just push it like so and center it so that the text is visible. And as a result, it should look like this. In my opinion, that's a bit too quick. So what I'm actually going to do is push it, push the second keyframe for the mask just to the right, just a few frames like that. Okay, that, I think that looks good. There you go. It's just a little bit slower. And now what we need to do is, what was it again? We need to add the fade out, of course. Yes. Okay. So what you need to do is right click the edge of the text layer just here, right click, apply default transitions and turn this up to maybe like 24, 25, maybe lower like 16. Again, it depends on your text layer. But for me, this works really well. So yeah, I like that. Let's now add the glow. Search for VR glow and add it onto your text layer. In fact, I'm just going to copy what I've already done. So just copy down my settings, 
uh, if I just paste it here. So first of all, disable the auto VR properties. I think this is automatically set at monoscopic. So just uh, leave that, I think. Uh, 360, 180, I think I changed the glow radius. So 75 and three for the brightness. Pause the video if you need to, of course. But yeah, that's the glow done, I think. If you think it's too bright, no problem. Just turn it down to like two, for example, and the other way around. So of course, if it's not bright enough, double it six looks hideous so maybe we have to turn down the radius the radius is basically how much it spread so if i turn it down to 25 you can see the glow looks a bit tighter and it looks horrible so i think it's the glow brightness that's actually causing this so if i turn it down to back to three in fact my original settings were perfect so yeah i'm going to leave it at that so that's the first one done in case you did not notice i also had a bottom text which has a what's it called again like a stroke this part is optional and you can skip directly to the uh to the second half which is the fade in you can use the timestamp on the screen to skip but if you are still here, then let's do this. First of all, duplicate your text layer. So hold Alt on your keyboard, click and drag it up. We're going to be using the bottom layer to make our bottom text. I suppose it makes the most sense. First of all, uh, I think I'm going to hide the blur. I think I'm going to hide it for now. And I'm also going to remove the mask. So just select it and cut. I'm going to push it down using the position. Maybe something uh, like that. In fact, yeah, I'm, I am going to zoom in. So, okay, perfect. I'm also going to rename it. So here then i'm going to disable the fill and turn on the stroke and just select the color i've gone for like is this yellow or green i don't know we need to reanimate this layer so if we just click on the stopwatch to remove the keyframes okay no problem and also how could i forget um i'm just gonna place the text here maybe like a few frames ahead imagine it's like the third word that he says so your text here so i'd want this bottom layer to appear just after the fade on the second one which is text again as i said it depends on your character but now we need to re-keyframe this. So if you scroll down onto, you know, effect controls, scale, I'm going to do, uh, how does 35 look? That looks okay. Uh, I'm, I think I can go a bit lower maybe. No, 35. That's fine actually. Otherwise we can't see it. I'm also going to push this up just a bit like that. Keyframe and depending on how actually you know what i'm going to cut this down as well just the end bit but i want it to last a little longer than the top layer so once that's gone then that one disappears as well so maybe just a bit more like that but as i was saying um head to the end one frame back if you can't see it then no problem just head to a point where you can see it set a keyframe so maybe like five values higher one two three four five uh, i think that's fine and then push it all the way to the end so this is the result oh and of course we need to add the fade at the beginning so i'm just going to right click and add that cross dissolve maybe turn it up to 12 as well and if i go full screen or fit this is what i have and it looks really good so just a reminder you can actually buy these presets and also the product file in the description below but if you're a monthly supporter you get access to seven project files and free preset packs which are usually paid anyways if you're still here i just wanted to let you know you can also do this so if you head back into the text option options there's this little like option here which allows you to spread the letters if you can't find it it's the one above all these like stroke settings and fill just here this icon here so if i increase it do you see how it's spreading apart 400 is the perfect setting take a look oh and of course the glow i forgot about it so if i just re-enable it yeah for some reason you can't really add glow onto the uh the bottom text it might be too small that's why i'm not sure but let's get rid of it cut no point okay i'm pretty satisfied with this outcome now let's move on to the next one which is the fade up words if you've just skipped to this timestamp then uh you missed quite a bit to be honest but it's okay i know you just want to get to the point anyways what i'm going to do first is duplicate my text that i just made and i'm just going to remove the mask that i added on so like that i'm going to keep these scales so remember you still have to follow the same procedure with the scale at least and we are actually going to ignore the bottom text as it's only got one word on it we're focused on the ones with multiple so this one has two your text okay listen up so you need to make a cut every time the character speaks however of course i don't have audio imagine this character soldier boy says the word text around here i'd make a cut so now i've got two layers so your text keep making cuts depending on how many words there are and also i'm so sorry i said this a bit late but get rid of the vr glow effect just right click cut on each one for some reason it does not work properly so we have to try a different method we're going to add it back on right now by doing this so if you just highlight both of these layers alt on your keyboard right click sorry don't right click alt click and drag up like that now search for fast blur which is underneath obsolete and drag it onto the top layer think of it as this the blurriness controls the spread so how far it spreads apart by it i'm referring to the glow and the opacity which is all the way down here this percentage simply controls the brightness now let's turn up the brightness so if i just 
increase it like so you can see it's spreading out even more pick whichever value you prefer so for example i think 30 looks really good it spreads out enough and also what you can do is turn down the opacity so something like 60 for example the glow is still there and it's got the same spread but it's just less visible 100 fine for me though so i'm just going to keep it at that anyways uh let's see what else we can do actually i think that's it uh, except we need to just copy this over to the next layer so the one next to it so just right click on fast blur copy head over to the next one right click anywhere here it does not matter and paste oh and i forgot the most important part which is making the effect actually work so okay i don't know how i forgot we need to hide the text well at least this one so for the first layer you only want the first word visible so click on the uh, polygon mask once again underneath text and just place it like oh okay okay i messed up once again but keep following what i'm doing i know it's still visible and i'll explain why it's because i made a mistake but turn up the mask feather to 50 and the reason why the text is still visible is because i've added the mask to the glow only so head to your bottom layer as well and do the same thing make the polygon mask and just move it like so turn down the mask feather to five so that we can't see the little bit of the text like sticking out so first text second text and we need to add a fade between it so just right click between add default transitions this is the result now what was the mistake i made well first of all i could have avoided all of that masking simply by adding on the mask beforehand so if i created that mask to hide the second word then also add the fade and then duplicate the layer or layers should i say both of them i wouldn't have to remask it so just remember that for next time if you are going to make it from scratch and the same applies to the second layer as well oh one final thing i forgot to mention i've literally just done the outro then realized i did not add a fade at the beginning now the issue is if i add a fade for both you are going to see a weird like black box and i think that's because of the mask and it sort of glitches out so to counter this i think it's the bottom layer actually so you can keep the fade on the top one but for the bottom one what you need to do is scroll all the way down in the effects controls and keyframe the opacity set it to zero remember at the start and then 5 10 or to the point where the fade ends for the first layer and just reset it back to 100 and there you go it should work okay back to the outro which i've actually already done members thank you for your support and as usual i will give away this project file and the presets but not anytime soon it will be next month so keep an eye on the shop anyways thank you for watching peace